the, the, the main intention is there, but the colors were not working. So I had to shift them overall shifts to make the, the color balance work. And even this stage is still, I made some, I think I made some drastic changes to the color scheme um, a bit further. Now I'm already I'm using the lasso tool using, you see, I'm not using photos, but I will use some photos afterwards. But I'm using, I'm making strong uh, use now of uh, lasso selections so I can have hard edges. Here you can see I'm shifting to this brown and I don't know why, but it's, this is not what I did afterwards. Now I'm starting to introduce more uh, cooler shades in the back. And you see, I zoomed out so I can, I could paint in. Um, I don't know why I did the, the first black and white uh, face with the zoomed in view, but you can see I'm stepping back now and it's much easier to evaluate the composition like this. I think I was painting in the zoomed out view and the details I was painting in the zoomed in view. And then I think I even zoomed in this one and it was, instead of using the zoom tool, um, I was just skipping, you can see me here, painting in the zoomed in view. So you can just skip between one and the other quite easily. And now I'm seeing this and I think mm, I should, I should use this technique again. That's, that, that's one of the good things um, about using the recording your videos uh, because you can, if, if you're doing something right, you can then keep analyze it and just do the same thing again. So you can see here, I'm more concerned with the details and here, yeah, here's the big shift. I think the final big shift of color where I introduced a lot more blue uh, to the top part of the painting. You see, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm in the zoomed in view and checking out the result in this view. At the time, I remember it helped me a lot. Uh, I was it was almost like painting in this view, but with the control of being of having um, of zooming in. And then. I think in the final stages, I used some photo overlays. Um, let me see here, refining the clouds. Yeah, now that I think of it, I think the only photo overlay I used was for this, this uh, green um, plateau here, grass. E when it comes. Almost, yeah, I think it's probably just in the end. Yeah, okay, here's some waves, exactly. You can um, make a selection of things that I didn't want. Again, match color. Here, the values blend perfectly. <laughs> and I, okay, uh, not sure what happened. And, even I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's just painting over painting. Um, but this is more or less the technique that I showed you. Match color with the underneath laying colors, uh, refine the selection, so cutting out parts that don't, in, that don't matter and paint over it. And in the end, you don't see the painting, the photo anymore. Here, the salon. I used the cutout filter here, I think, to, to remove the, the crispness of the photo. And here yeah, it's almost getting to the end. Final adjustments of haze. And yeah, this is the final result. So I think this painting uh, used a different technique. The classroom used a different technique. You can see some of the things that I repeat um but overall uh you can see i'm not adhering to adhering to um to one way of working 
and I'm always evolving, always trying out new things. But I think this gives you an idea of how I work. The, the, in the beginning of the session, it was more about the thumbnails, and I showed you more or less about the detailing process. And it's, I think it's much more interesting to show you this as a time lapse, so you can see the the whole. Pro so I showed you four hours of painting here in about 15 minutes. The thumbnail, the thumbnail of getting the shapes right in the beginning and the colors, the various techniques that I showed you about um, using colors. I think it will help you if you use these techniques or use these techniques to come up with your own ways of working. I I'm almost sure that it will help you. Uh, and especially the books that I referenced at the beginning of the, um, the first session. If you are still learning, I think they will help you immensely. And uh, they're very easy to read. And I think the, the books are quite cheap.